Ivana Govinda is a Mrs. SA finalist, but it isn't only her stunning looks that have brought her this far in the pageant. She's also a practicing optometrist, and her work to promote eye care for children in rural areas has earned her many votes. Let's meet up with Ivana to get the full picture. Being a Mrs. South Africa finalist is just one of Rivana Govinda's many personas because she's also mommy to her daughter Mail, wife to Hubby Chandrasen and a caring optometrist to the patients at a practice in Johannesburg. Eye care is far more than just a career for Rivana and she's especially passionate about raising awareness regarding the need for good vision and preventing blindness in children. One, two, okay. So one. Hey. Hey. Hi. Ivana, hi, how are you? Wonderful, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. What are we up to today? Well, today little Gift is here to have his eyes tested. His mom's just brought him in. Um, so we're testing his eyes for the very first time. Wow, okay, so what's the process? First we'll assess his vision and then we'll see if glasses are going to make him see better. We've just discovered that Gift actually does need glasses, so are you going to help us choose some frames today? I think that's a great idea. Gift, are you ready? Yes. Born in Port Shepston, Rivana was raised as a South Coast girl before her career and marriage brought her to Kalteng. Okay, that looks good. Follow my finger here. Perfect. Let's have a look. Do you want to see in the mirror? That looks so cool. Wow. So why did you decide to get into optometry? You know, I've always had a love for health science and optometry just became the natural choice when I realized what it was about, when I worked in the field. I just, I enjoy what I do. I say I love eyes. Eyes are the gateway to the soul. Absolutely. Like you also work very closely with a non-profit organization. Tell me a little bit about that. I'm actually the brand ambassador for Bonabolo Vision for Learning. This is actually an NPO that's focused on taking eye care facilities to school going children in the peripheral area of our country. So we actually provide them with visual therapy, with spectacles, and we enable them to reach their full academic potential. Why is it so important for the youth to get their eyes tested? Vision is such a crucial part of the way your child perceives and learns about the world. So if they aren't able to see, they aren't able to learn. So for me, it really hurts my heart to know that there's so many children out there that have never heard of an eye test or that are battling with their vision when we have facilities available for them to have good vision. So that isn't the only thing you have on the cards for us today. What else do you have planned? So today I'm very excited to share my Mrs. South Africa journey with you, as well as taking you a little bit into my home life and letting you meet two very important people, my three-year-old daughter and my husband. Well, shall we get going? Let's go. Her personal style combines elegance, sensuality and spontaneity. And she's a perfectionist with a keen eye for detail. Rivana's makeup artist was putting the finishing touches in place when Korea arrived at the location and she bumped into someone familiar. Sahil, how are you? Well and you? Very well, thanks. Well, what are we doing today? We're going to be doing a glamour shoot for Rivana's Mrs. South Africa campaign. Well, speaking about beautiful model, I see that she's just arrived, so I'm going to leave you guys to it. As a participant in the Mrs. India Worldwide Pageant, Rivana was awarded a coronet as a second princess as well as being named Mrs. Photogenic at the finals. And although not a trained model, she has a natural flair for projecting her personality. Hi! I thought I'd come visit the horses whilst you were busy. Wonderful. <laughs> You're no stranger to the pageant world. Why did you decide to enter Mrs. South Africa? I had a message for wives, for mothers, and I want to be able to inspire them and encourage them to never stop following their dreams. You're a mom, you're a successful career woman, you're a wife and now a finalist for Mrs. South Africa. How do you manage to find balance? I have a wonderful support system. I have a husband who sometimes has to play mommy and daddy, but it's amazing. So it's about taking in that help and knowing that it's okay not to be perfect all the time. Mom's photo shoots have become quite routine for the family, so Mail and Chandrasen took the opportunity to enjoy a picnic together while waiting for Kriya and her to join them. Mommy. Mommy. 
Hi, how are you? Hi, thanks. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's go sit. Well, Looks like you guys are having a beautiful picnic. Oh, yeah. How important has family been through your journey? I think family is the most important. We are a team. My husband is my rock and my daughter is my reason for doing everything that I do. But apart from just having the two of them, it's also our extended family. It's the support I receive from my community. It all pushes me to be better and to do better. Do you have a message for South Africans, specifically married women? My message to South African women is never be afraid to strive for more. You have so much power within you and you can do anything you put your mind to. Well, thank you so much for letting me spend an amazing day with you and best of luck with the competition. Thank you very much.